Introducing the ultimate at-home Guinness experience, Guinness Microdraft. I'm going to talk you through Guinness Microdraft, the tap for home which gives you the ultimate Guinness pour. Guinness have been working on this cutting edge technology to be able to serve fresh, beautiful, great tasting Guinness on tap at home, which delivers Guinness without the need for a keg and gas system. In this video, I'll be talking you through what's in the box, how to set up your tap, a tour of the kit, how to pour, and tap care. So in this box, you'll find your beautiful microdraft tap, the power cable, and two grommets that'll talk you through a little bit later. You'll also receive a separate box in which you'll find four special cans of Guinness designed specifically for your microdraft tap, and two Guinness pint glasses, making sure you have the ultimate Guinness experience in the comfort of your own home. Before setting up your new microdraft tap, you'll want to pop your Guinness microdraft cans into the fridge for 24 hours. This is important because the tap reads the temperature of the cans and it won't pour unless the cans are chilled right down to the correct temperature, which is three to five degrees Celsius. Now you know what to expect in the box, let's look at how to set up the tap at home. Your microdraft tap is very easy to install for a permanent setup. It can also be quickly and easily relocated for temporary setups. It has a clamp to firmly attach it to a surface. And when choosing where to install your microdraft tap, the ideal depth to get the best snug fit is 10 centimeters. And the maximum surface height, that's the thickness of your surface, is nine centimeters. Make sure you position the tap so that you can plug it into a power socket. Don't set it up in direct sunlight and choose a dry area free from splashes and standing water. Once you've decided where to put your tap, it's an easy twist to secure it to the surface. If you do leave it clamped on permanently, always make sure that it's completely secure before using it. And don't worry, the clamp is cushioned for extra peace of mind. So now that the tap is all set up, I'll quickly talk you through each element. At the top, you'll see the LCD screen that will tell you exactly what to do. Here's the handle that you will pull down when prompted to start your pour. On the side in front, we have our lovely harp which lights up once powered on. Here's where the can slots into. To help create the best tasting Guinness at home, we fitted this cradle that holds your pint glass in place. It's spring loaded, meaning that it holds the glass and automatically tilts as you pour. And this is the drip tray. The power cable plugs in underneath the drip tray. So now we're ready to power on. With the mains power on, just flick the switch and you'll see the LCD screen turn on. Your microdraft tap makes a little bit of noise whilst running its internal checks. Within a few seconds, it's ready to go. The LCD screen then prompts you to make the initial steps. So here, as you can see, it's telling me to insert a can. Now I'll talk you through how to pour. First, grab one of your specially designed Guinness Microdraft cans from the fridge. The Guinness Microdraft can has two important things to note. Firstly, the indicator here will turn blue when it's chilled to the correct temperature and ready to use. Remember, the tap only works if you chill the cans for 24 hours before pouring. The ideal temperature is three to five degrees. Secondly, the arrow reminds me which way up the can is to be inserted into the tap. You'll need to wipe the can to make sure it's free from any condensation so that the thermometer can read the correct temperature. Remember, these are the only cans that will work with your microdraft tap. Once you're happy that the can is at the correct temperature, pop it into the can slot the correct way up. Now all you need to do is to follow the simple steps that are shown on the LCD screen. When inserted, the sensor will detect the can and it will check the temperature. The ideal temperature for the can is between three to five degrees, but the tap will pour between one and eight degrees. Once the can is at the ideal temperature, we'll see a green light and we'll be good to pour. So now it's time to grab your Guinness pint glass and insert it into the cradle. You'll see the LCD screen gives us all of the steps. And here it is telling us that we're ready to pull the handle. Pull the tap handle towards you to initiate the pour. You'll see that the tap features the famous Guinness nozzle and you'll hear that familiar hiss sound that's so recognizable to a beautiful Guinness pour. Watch as the liquid begins to surge and millions of nitrogen bubbles kick into action. The first pour will automatically stop just at the top of the harp. This screen will then tell us to allow the pour to settle as well as indicating a timer. And after 60 seconds, the LCD display will tell us to push the handle back away from us to finish the two part pour. When the liquid hits the rim, let go of the handle. The tap will finish the pour, creating the perfect dome, finishing your beautiful Guinness. The screen will tell you when it's ready to enjoy. Once the pour has finished, your Microdraft tap LCD screen prompts you to remove the can. With a simple push of the silver button ejecting the can, there may be a little bit of residual liquid that spills out into the drip tray as you remove it. If you don't hit eject, the tap will automatically do it for you after 15 seconds. 
Your Microdraft tap allows you to pour beautiful, great tasting Guinness in the comfort of your own home. And now to taste check. Yep, that's a beautiful Guinness. To make sure you achieve the perfect pour every time, I just want to talk you through some simple tap care. With some residual liquid always expected with every pour, it's worth keeping the tap clean. Simply take out the spout and wash it under hot water and clean the drip tray. One thing to remember here is that it can't go in the dishwasher. If you did ever need to remove the cradle, to free pour, simply pop these grommets in where the cradle would sit. The Guinness Microdraft tap is as easy to pack away as it is to set up, making it completely portable. Just pop it back into the box to store for the next time. Guinness Microdraft truly celebrates the theatre of the magical two-part pour, a ritual loved by millions.